up? What up? What up? All right, just, just you gotta pull back over there and into the, that first driveway right here. You hit my surfboard. Surfboard? That's yours? Yeah. You know how to surf. You cracked it. I did? No idea. I heard a skid across. Look at that. Oh, you do have one. I know they don't. Vintage. I stole this jacket. You stole it? Before? Actually, no, no. I think my stepdad actually gave this to me when I was a kid. Yeah, it's an old Nike jacket. Yeah, because that one scene where he snapped on him. Right. But, um, I forgot all these movies for you. <laughs> This shit was funny. This is a pretty good movie though. It was good. I know it was a true story though. I'm gonna have to look him up. They said he um uh, They still make movies, I guess. Yeah, they said they don't know how he made all his money and what else? How old he is and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, they don't know. I don't know. Mandy's sleep or she awake? She's sleeping. Oh. I was just gonna take us to the airport. You, you didn't watch that too, did you? Nah, nah, I didn't have time. Culture Club Time Clock of the Hearts. I'm in Black Red Hands to find out you what the number two song yeah. is. I'm Hans Christian Anderson's story. And it features a damn little no guitar. <laughs> Stretch out, we'll put these up and lay out. You might give it all to yourself, you never know. Motion sickness? No, I don't get motion sickness. Yeah, you said he was going Time is 11:40 a.m. Please remain seated with your seatbelt fast until the seatbelt sign is turned off, and keep the house clear of all carrying items. The better it is. That's how it is for that stuff. Man. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's not. It won't be as fast as the right speed, man. Oh, okay. So it won't keep up. You be kind of lagging a little bit. You trying to do something that's like slow. Mm -hmm. It won't be as nice. So yeah, invest in that car. Invest the memory mm -hmm. car. It makes a big difference. And should I keep it? I, I, I have it on auto. Like I have like the settings on auto and stuff. Or should so I? If like, you're I just shooting YouTube videos and yeah. stuff like that, that's I'll keep cool. auto. Yeah, just keep it on auto. Yeah. Good lights. Have good lights. Good. Okay. Okay. Because the video fun, you showed me look good. Thank like, you, bro. When you're shooting on the couch, like you can just leave it on auto for stuff like that. If you're mm -hmm. like YouTube, like kind of vlog type stuff. Yeah. You can just leave it like that. Okay, okay. And then, um, okay. You've been vlogging yeah. this whole time? Yeah. <laughs> What's up? What's up? 
That's it. Headphones. Here we are, Dallas, man. Here's the crew. The airport sucks. The airport sucks. <laughs> Not shit out here, I know. Yeah. You get something to eat? I went to that 7-Eleven and I just grabbed like some fruit and stuff. It cost me like 15 bucks, man. Are you hungry? Yeah. No, I got some Lara bars. Okay. So, I'm munching those. Nice. How's your guys' flight? All right. I, I couldn't sleep a lift. No? You knocked out? That's great. I was wide away, man. Sorry I'm not more like pumped up right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Safe travels, buddy. <laughs> but yeah, I think there was, if you look online, they have a, like that Happy Cow app. Oh yeah, I got that one. Yeah. They have the, there's like a smoothie. I think there's one smoothie place. But I don't remember what terminal it was. Well, I, I might get that before we leave. We got some time. Right. I'll see you guys in a like, few hours. Okay, buddy. We'll pick you up. Right. Later, man. drive with their freaking mascot I don't quite understand it well, they want to be safe huh well who are they safe from there's nobody in there but him well you just never know maybe when you're driving and the, the exhaust or something from the car in front of you who's so gonna throw up a uh, virus at you yeah it might you gotta be yeah, breathe it in and you're screwed you're kidding me you've seen this world change haven't you Bob I've seen this world change many times. What do you have to say for yourself? I gotta say just one thing. What? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, today is the day the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. That's well, right. I fell in love with the labor gal. I fell in love with the labor gal. Will you just quit filming me? <laughs> Trip we've had today. Yeah, Debbie. It looks like your dad. I thought it looked like Chaser. That's it. What should we do right now? Oh, that's, that's me. Oh, God. <laughs> that's with the man filter. That's scary. <laughs> it kind of looks like you, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I think it looks like your dad. <laughs> you want to see Devin as a girl? Yes. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> where, where did Demon go? Does look like this <laughs> Where is he? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Devin? That's Devin. That's <laughs> why, did they, why did they age him so much? I don't know. I don't. Where did he they go? They tried to cover his beard. That's what. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, it's he's a, a filter. He's a yeah, handsome like girl. Yeah. Isn't that funny? That's All hilarious. of my boys look at Mitch in the background. As girls, he's crushing on Devin hard. <laughs> What? That guy loved having the long hair for a little bit. Hey, hey, you, yeah, you, you, you as a woman. Looking girl there. I know, right? I like, I like Mitch checking you out in the background. Right? That was funny. He's just, yeah, he's I don't think in awe. <laughs> fan growing. In over. awe. What can I say? Yeah, like this hair. Yeah. Got a hardcore Blown cold sack coming in, man. <laughs> cold sack. Mm. What are you doing? Blowing in the wind. <laughs> well, this, these hairs were going through my summer. Driving through, I was like, woo, woo, all right. <laughs> My dad. Hey. Dude. Hey, you two look alike. I wonder right. why. I wonder why. Right, you were adopted. I probably was. <laughs> Unfortunately, too many people tell me I look like you. I know it. Which is a good thing. It's a curse. Look so at you guys get infected or are you guys good? Curse. We don't know. Don't you'll know. you'll find out in a couple of weeks. Okay, <laughs> that's all I want to know. Appreciate it, man. Uh,
No problem. I'm gonna get that watermelon smoothie there, dude. That's good. The watermelon smoothie was good. You got any watermelon smoothie? You want that watermelon smoothie? What kind of protein? Where are my protein choices? There's vegan Korean food. Nice. Called Amitable. Okay. Uh, they close soon. Close at nine, and they're uh, fifteen minutes away. Uh, Let's go, vegan Korean. I'm in. Yeah. Sure. They only do takeout or delivery. I think we got a call. How's it going, everybody? Uh, me, Josh, and uh, Ariel, we're right now in Chicago, uh, in this kind of suburb city town called uh, River Grove. It's near O'Hare by the airport. And um, we're staying at this really uh, janky motel right now uh, on the strip, uh, the corner. Uh, pretty bad. It smells like cigarettes in here. Um, there's ants crawling on the counter over by the little coffee station and um, yeah it's, it's it's pretty much a dive but uh, you know when you're kind of doing film projects and you know random places especially during uh, COVID-19 pandemic um, you, you beggars can't be choosers right you just gotta kind of take what you can get and we're definitely uh, roughing it it's been it's been a crazy trip so far uh, all the different people we've been interviewing who've been dealing with COVID-19 directly um, their stories are really powerful the experiences they've had are really powerful and difficult uh, and harrowing, and um, and I know there's a lot of skepticism going around, you know, especially in the U.S. around the country, that that maybe you know COVID isn't such a big deal, that maybe the pandemic is, you know, just kind of this big fear that um, has been thrown out by the media and by all these kinds of things that people don't really need to pay attention to, but uh, us dealing with it directly and being involved with it directly with so many different people. Um, you know, I'm here to tell you that it is real. It's a, it's a scary um, disease, a virus that's going around. And uh, that means that people need to take precautions, okay? And um, especially from some of these stories that we've heard from, from people who've lost siblings or, um, you know, their daughter or son or their husband or wife or, you know, someone who's passed away because of, you know, uh, COVID-19 and because of issues with, you know, testing and um, how a lack of a strategy of testing around the, the nation has, has caused this sort of upheaval, upheaval of confusion. Um, it's really important to understand that you need to wear your mask, you know, take precaution. Um, you know, think about other people in your community, not just yourself. So like, if you don't wear a mask, don't think like, oh, it's because I'm not afraid. I'm not, it's, it has nothing to do with your fear, you know, or your life. It has everything to do with everyone else's life the possibility that you could, you know, maybe be carrying it and be asymptomatic or whatever, but that someone else who isn't is going to be vulnerable to that. So you wear a mask, you know, not just for your own protection, but for everyone else's protection too, okay? And and by doing that, you kind of contribute to doing your part to flattening, you know, that curve, especially since we're seeing right now a lot of different spikes, um, you know, that are sort of falling in line with this first wave of, of COVID-19, but now it's transitioning into this period of possibly a second wave coming up. And, and from a lot of the doctors we've spoke to, um, you know, in Chicago, uh, in Detroit, you know, those two states, um, you know, the second wave is going to come and it's not just a matter of if, but, but when. So um, here at Doyen Artists, we just urge you to, to, you know, really do your part, really educate yourself on what's going on. Um, you know, take those safety precautions that you can, wear a mask, you know, try to distance yourself from people. You know, for us, it's been really difficult. And even our crew, we're kind of thinking every day, like, gosh, you know, it's, you know, we're hoping that we're taking the right precautions to, to, to not, you know, catch anything or to not spread anything. But, but it's been difficult. You know, we were on a plane ride and even on the flight, people are arm in arm with each other. You know, uh, everyone has masks on, thankfully, uh, because it's a requirement. 
you know, by the airline, but at the same time, people are still sitting right next to you, shoulder to shoulder. There's no distance in between you. I, I even sat next to one guy who, you know, he, he was wearing a mask when he was seated, but he kept taking it off all the time, you know, kind of doing his own thing. And, and it's just disconcerting. It's like, oh, geez, man, you know, it's, you know, so, so like I said, you know, wear it for your own protection because, you know, other people, they may not care as much. And those who don't care, you know, are the ones who kind of, are more susceptible to, to spreading it and, and making that possibility of, of catching it more prevalent for other people. Uh, so I just think it's really important to, to do your best and, and really understand that it's a collective humanity that we're all a part of. You know, we're trying to, to fight this thing together and obviously everybody wants things to go back to normal. Um, I do, you know, especially, especially for like acting and, you know, uh, writing work and being a journalist, kind of going out, being able to meet with more people to tell their stories. I mean, those are things that I'd like to be able to go back to do, you know, have a normal career again. So, um, but in order for that to happen, people need to come together, need to make a change and need to be aware. Um, so other than that, like I said, it's been an interesting trip. Uh, we're in Chicago now. We're going to be here for a couple of days. We have some more interviews, um, some different suburbs in downtown with other frontliners, uh, women who are directly involved with COVID-19 helping people. I don't know if we're going to have any footage that we'll be able to sh share with you since a lot of it's going to be going towards this documentary. You should check it out. It's going to be called uh, Beyond the Front Lines. There's a link in the description that you can check out to learn more about that. Uh, check them out on Instagram. It's a really great project that's being put together uh, by a really wonderful entrepreneur. Her name's Aneri Shaw. We're very lucky to be able to work with her and support, you know, this project and, and support those who are on the front lines making a difference, you know, fighting against COVID-19. Yeah, so this is just kind of a little way for me to sort of explain what's going on. I know I had some other footage of, of us, you know, kind of flying and traveling and us being together, you know, ordering food, doing different things. This is our room we're staying in. And uh, yeah, I, I hope it just kind of gives you some some insight into, into what's happening, what we're doing. Okay, I had to move spots, some kind of weird radiator sound was coming from the fridge there so i had to move I'm waiting for dinner to come here right now we just kind of ordered takeout so the guys are picking it up i'm just i'm holding down the fort uh we got all of our equipment and stuff in here and and uh yeah just um it's not the nicest hotel i've ever been to look here i'll show you some of these bugs that are crawling look i think they're all they're even on the lamp post check this out See that? There he goes. Look at that. That's one ant. Where are the others? Yeah, there's another one. Crawling around. Yep. It's very nice. It's been fun. Really nice uh, experience for us. So. <sighs> second sandwich in like five minutes you, obviously you can see he's starving his, his body is just malnourished <laughs> withering away and then we eat one meal in the in the morning or no not at night for dinner we have like one team meal that usually costs like seventy dollars <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> these two act like they've never eaten before in their lives. <laughs> They're sleeping beauty. <laughs> Got this whole bed to himself last night. Unbelievable. Bit bitching and moaning just so he could get this whole bed to himself. Well, it's our last day uh, in Chicago. 
Um, we're in Chinatown right now, just hanging out. And uh, I don't know, we really don't have any other plans for the day except for getting some B-roll around the, around the city, just some extra filler footage. So that's pretty much all we're doing. But we have a beautiful shot of the skyline here. Thank you to Ariel's mom. There we go, now you get that blue sky in there. It's great lighting right here. You know, I'm burping up that vitamin C over and over again. Thanks, Mandy, for the vitamin C. <laughs> <laughs> no one's happy about the vitamin C, Mandy. <laughs> Just bitching. God damn it. Very cool. This is Rocco. Rocco. He's new in the family. Is that your dog? This is my dog. Beautiful. Yeah, he's seven months. He's good with people. But uh, when we open the door, he usually runs out. He's like, bye. <laughs> it's like, I'm out. I can put him down now. What about you, man? What have you been up to? Well, here, Lily's got me like a slave, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> My old agency. When I first became an actor, this is where I got represented at. Oliver, the man, he's believed in me since I was like 14, 15 years old. So this place is the best. Chicago, Lily's Talent Agency. Okay, look him up. She actually came back last year to help us on summer. Oh, no. And Stephanie's doing casting with The Onion. The Onion? Oh, nice. Yeah, she's been out. She's been the casting. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. He sees that toy. He's like, give me that toy. He's like, you want to, you're not like Give it. me that chewable. <laughs>
Finally back in LA. Back home. We had to leave Josh at the airport. Uh, he's got another connection flight over to Tucson, but uh, back in LA, it feels good to be back. And, uh, check in with you all later, okay? Be safe, wear your mask. Hold on, let me get another take. I was about to say something. Sorry. Right. Let's over it. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the page. I was gonna say something stupid. <laughs>